Hello everyone, welcome to the first module of this course, Fruit Ninja. I think most of you are already familiar with the Fruit Ninja mobile game, but for those that aren't, Fruit Ninja is a mobile game where I have to cut fruits that jump on the screen by swiping the screen. However, there are also bombs that you must avoid cutting. So, this is the game we will have in the end of the module. Notice that there are fruits and bombs jumping on the screen. If I cut a fruit, it increases my score by 1. If I cut a bomb, it decreases my number of lives. There are also special fruits that I can cut for extra points. For example, here. I can keep cutting it for extra points. Besides implementing the basic game, we are going to add some extra features to it. First, we are going to create a game store where the player can buy upgrades with the money acquired in the game. So, for example, here is the, the store, here is my money, and two upgrades I can buy, each one with a different price. For the second feature, we are going to use Firebase as our game backend. We use Firebase to store the game database and to handle user authentication. For example, notice that in the beginning of the game, I have to authenticate myself with my email and password. So, let's do it. The database will be used to save the player money and maximum score. So, if I open the store, it should show my current money, 20. Also, by saving the player maximum score, we can show an online leaderboard in the end of the game. So, let's try playing a game to see the leaderboard. I just cut some bombs to finish. Here. See that it shows my maximum score and the maximum score of the other players. Notice that it shows the top 5 players in the game. And that's it for this module. I hope you like it, and see you in the next video when you are going to start creating your game. Bye bye!